Over the years of my career in news, I've talked with plenty of local and some international political dignitaries, but one of the most thrilling was when we went to Guatemala in 2005, we found a way, a connection, to talk with the former president of Guatemala and his wife. So here we are in a foreign country, they take us into the palace, and we had a meeting with the president and his wife of Guatemala. So watch. While in Guatemala, we got the rare opportunity to sit down with the president of the country in the presidential palace to talk with him about his country, his new government, and his plans for the future. I've noticed in your country you have a reputation, a very violent place. We, before we came down here, we looked on the website for the United States government and it says, violent place, be careful. How do you change that so that people will want to come back down to your country? Violence is uh, worldwide nowadays. You have violence in South America, Central America, North America, and even Europe. Um, in the, the case of Guatemala, we are coming out of a 36-year uh, armed conflict or civil war, and there is a lot of uh, things that need to be improved, uh, especially culturally, because for many years the solution to conflicts was by the use of arms and violence. So we are working on trying to improve this um, culture and to uh, work hard to improve the living conditions so that violence is no longer an option. Really what Guatemala needs is jobs, but without security, and a big company probably is going to be resistant to want to locate in your country. Is that a problem? Of course, um, personal security is uh, something that needs to be resolved for investment to come down here. We're doing um, big efforts in trying to, <clears throat> we are improving the equipment and the, the human uh, power and the police forces. Uh, we, we are starting to see some results. It was today in the morning in the headlines that uh, there's been a decline in violence and we are very optimistic even though it's a large challenge, it's still a big problem, but we are optimistic we're heading in the right direction. How tough is it for you coming in after your predecessor to bring trust back into the office of President of Guatemala? It has been a, a big challenge. Uh, definitely when we took over uh, the previous administration, they had taken a hold of all these institutions and key uh, public of officials. Uh, they, were, they had their same, ob their objective was to perpetrate themselves in this corrupt government for the next term. We had a progress, there are some key uh, previous government officials who are now in jail or being prosecuted. Um, we are making some progress, but it's, it's been a, a very difficult challenge and to bring back confidence into the people in their institutions and in their government. Free trade agreement, how important is that for Central America? It is definitely a big opportunity, but it also brings a lot of challenges. Uh, just being able to read about it, we became aware of our things and how we need to improve and to get ready to be able to compete in a worldwide economy. I think it's going to strengthen the Central America region because we're doing efforts to uh, unite our efforts as a region uh, and Central America can benefit a lot from this agreement. If I, I would like to point out something that your audience might uh, identify a lot or in, uh, approve a lot is the fact that if we have a more secure uh, Guatemala and a more developed Guatemala, uh, then you're going to have less uh, Guatemalans immigrating to the U.S. and all the problems that that creates to American society. So what we want is for the conditions to improve down here so they can follow, they can pursue their American dream but staying in Central America and not immigrating to North America. What do you love about Guatemala? Oh, I love the people. Uh, it's a unique place, Guatemala, is in where we lindo. The country, I think it offers a lot with the Mayan heritage and all the geographic and the multicolors that you find in the, throughout the country. I would like to take the opportunity to invite you to come down here and see for yourselves what Guatemala is all about. Last thing, is this job the biggest headache you've ever had? It could become a headache, but if you don't, you're not moving forward, if you're going backwards or standing still. And when we make steps, we take steps in the right direction, that when one becomes hopeful, 
that we are making progress and going towards a brighter future. Um, the idea here is that it's not we're not going to be capable of solving all the problems in four years, uh, not even in eight or twelve. We need a, a continuity in our programs and have a plan as a nation, otherwise we can fall back into the situations of the past that we don't want to go there.